What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be installing a doggy door for my Siberian Husky Jet. We're gonna be installing it in my back door so he can come inside the shop and go outside whenever he wants. Come say hi. So this is Jet, he's my nine, 10 month old Siberian Husky. I think he's really gonna like this doggy door. What do you think, buddy? Huh? All right, guys, so this is the door we're gonna be installing it on. So we're gonna go open it up and start reading the instructions and figure out what the first step is. This is what we got in the box. We have some instructions, the first part of the door, the second part, and then here is a snap-on cover to keep anything from coming in or out. So we're gonna grab the tape measure and go measure Jet. So Jet's still got a little bit of room to grow. We're gonna go 26 inches to the top. So this was included in the instructions. This is gonna show you exactly where you need to cut the door. So you have all the sizes, the small, medium, and large. This is the large. So there's a line right here that says shoulder height. That's gonna be 26 for Jet. We're gonna put it up on there and either trace it out or tape it on. And then we're gonna to try to cut it while it's on the wall. It says in the instructions to remove it, but we're gonna to try to do it without, so. I'm gonna go grab some tape. We're gonna tape this on and get started on it. All right, so the instructions say to drill a little hole in every single corner so you can get your jigsaw in there. So we're gonna throw the drill bit in and get started. All right, that was kind of a pain in the butt, but we got the hole out. So now you can see outside. So we're gonna grab the instructions and figure out what the next step is. All right, so we're gonna measure the thickness of the door and then add seven eighths. And then we have these black plastic dividers that we're gonna cut down. This is so you can install it in like a wall or any thickness door. All right, so one and three quarter plus seven eighths is two and five eighths. So we're gonna get these black things and cut them down. Okay, we're gonna take these black things that we just made and we're gonna clip them in the sides here, all the way around. And then it says for a more weatherproof sail, you can put tape around these corners. So we're gonna grab some duct tape and do that also. Well, we're gonna secure the two sides now. So we're gonna go from the exterior side with these screws and we're gonna push it through with the nuts in this side and start tightening it and work our way around. All right, well that's it installed. I grabbed the shop vacuum. We're gonna clean up all this fiberglass real quick. And then we're gonna try to train Jet. So you're supposed to tape up one side and go to the other side and tell them to come through and stuff like that. So we'll grab some treats after we're done vacuuming this and test that out.
Jack. Lights out, buddy. All right, we're gonna grab some caulk and go across the top and down the sides. So this is the outside view of the finished product. So these bolts that come through, you just cut them off flush. So it looks good from the outside. Close it real quick. Here's the inside. So this is working pretty good so far. It's got like magnetic things on the bottom that stick it down so it's nice and straight. So you can see where we put some of that duct tape to weatherproof it. But yeah, Jet's coming through it already. Jet. You want some treats? Come here. Let's see if he comes through. Jet, come here, buddy. Yeah, come here, buddy. Here you go. Good boy. So it's working pretty good so far. We're going outside real quick. Stay in, Jet. Jet, come here. Jet. He's messing with it. Yep. Come on, Jet. Good boy. So he's figured it out pretty quick. So I'm gonna leave him alone, let him come in and out in a few times. Looks like he's playing over here in his little dog house. But thanks everyone for watching. I'll throw like a little review in in one of my future videos of what I think about it and how it's working out for him. So tomorrow morning, Cheyenne and I are actually gonna pick up a brand new Razor Turbo. So we're gonna bring you guys along for the ride. We actually have to go to Nevada to pick that up. So we're gonna take my truck, stop and pick up a new car hauler so we can pull the Razor around. Go grab that and bring it back home.